All right, George Clooney. Let's see what you have for me this time. Hopefully it's something intriguing. <laughs> Yo, what is up my Cinedroids? G to the S here. Today, I'm going to be reviewing George Clooney's biggest feature debut, Ocean's Eleven. About Danny Ocean, played by Mr. Clooney himself, like I mentioned earlier, is a man of action. Less than 24 hours into his parole in a New Jersey penitentiary, the wry, charismatic thief is already rolling out his next plan. Following three rules, don't hurt anybody, don't steal from anyone who doesn't deserve it, and play the game like you've got nothing to lose. Danny orchestrates the most sophisticated, elaborate casino heist in history. Now, before I get into the positive things about this movie, and trust me, there are a lot of great things to mention about this movie, so keep watching. But I do have one teensy weensy issue about this movie. But before you go shoving hate down my throat, trust me, this issue does not justify that the movie is automatically crap because of it. It's just a small gripe that I have to get off my chest real quick. No big deal. The pacing could have been picked up just a smidge faster. Throughout the whole movie, yeah, sure, there's a whole lot happening in this movie. But that's not considered a bad thing about the movie at all. In fact, if anything, that's the important aspect about the movie that keeps it going. It's just that some of the character interactions can be a bit of a slow burn sometimes. Not going against director Steven Soderbergh, he did a fantastic job coaching his actors and actresses in this movie. It's just that the pace of it needs fixing. That's all. The rest of the movie is an action-packed thrill ride from start to finish. Now sure, there's not that much action as I expected it to be. But once the action does kick into gear, it's enticing to watch. Same with the dramatic emotion in the film. Not that much to offer. But there are some moments where, in terms of the character development, you understand where they're coming from. Now, of course, I'm not spoiling a single thing in this movie in case you haven't seen it yet, which you should for the love of Pete, man. But throughout this whole movie, their relationship towards each other feels very genuine and realistic. Again, props to director Steven Soderbergh for coaching your celebrities in the way we want them to be portrayed. They all have different personality traits, but they do it in a way that's not super confusing, like Norm in the North did. They make it easier for the audience to understand who these characters are and what they represent in the film. And in terms of execution, none of them feel out of place. I gotta give props to the writing team at both Warner Brothers Pictures and Village Roadshow for making the characters feel three-dimensional and charismatically snazzy as well. Seriously, look at these fancy suits. I would pay anything to get those suits. Take all my money, Warner Brothers. Anyways, now that I've been sidetracked just now, speaking of writing, the storyline is intriguing and engrossing as heck. It kind of reminds me of Mission Impossible a little bit. But they don't copy elements from those movies, and that's what I like about it. This movie has its own creative spin on the whole spy espionage jewel high story. But it totally works here. Throughout this whole thing, I felt tense and nervous for these characters. They even catch you off guard here and there. When I first watched it on DVD just recently, as an audience member, I thought for sure that they were going to fail the mission at the very end. But like an idiot, I thought horribly wrong. But that's a great thing. It's the type of intrigue that keeps you on your toes. And like a hawk, you are the onlooker. And you have to be an expert to know whether or not that they would complete the mission flawlessly without any destruction or mayhem whatsoever. So again, props to Warner and Village Roadshow for keeping me intrigued throughout the whole film. More of that, please. And as for the practical effects and the cinematography, they always look great. Nothing more needs to be said. Guys, in the end, I thought Ocean's Eleven was an intriguing and exhilarating spy espionage film. Sure, it's not a perfect film by any means, just like what I said on my Arthur Christmas review. No movie is perfect whatsoever, but no movie needs to be horribly made either. Take notes, Splash Entertainment. This is one of those films where all you need to do is take your time, plan your story right, and eventually you will get positive feedback for your audience. For me, it was action-packed, fun, intriguing, the characters worked off of each other very well, and the story is very simple. So overall, 
I rate Ocean's Eleven four and a half stars out of five. Again, not the most perfect, but also not the most terrible either. If you have not the chance, give it a shot and see what you think of it. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. So, Ocean's Eleven, have you seen it? If you haven't, yo, it's waiting for you with your name on it. Get the Blu-ray or see if it's streaming on HBO Max somewhere and watch it. Strike while the iron's hot. But for those of you who have, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share it with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. Also, if you want to shout out in a future video, just follow me on both Instagram and Twitter and I will choose one of my Cinedroids to be displayed as a shout out. The link's in the description below. And also, if you want to subscribe to my gaming channel, there's either a link in the description or at the icon card at the top right corner of your screen. Go over there, subscribe, and let's just have fun together. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.